guys, so today I want to talk about all of the different jewelry that I wear every day. I like to mix and match a lot of my jewelry and it's all very minimal, lots of like gold and brass. I use a lot, so uh, let's get started. So this necklace that I am wearing, I have featured in the past a lot because I literally wear it like almost every day. It is the Constantinople necklace from Pamela Card, and I wear it a lot because it's beautiful, like it's 24 karat gold on the outside, and I believe it's silver on the inside of it, and then um, the chain is just really delicate. And it's also made and engineered like really well so that when I'm taking it off, I don't lose this. It just stays on the chain. So that's really nice. It's just a great thing, I think, as a gift too. If you're looking to get a gift for somebody, I definitely just can't recommend this one enough. So I actually love to layer my coin necklaces. As much as I wore this one, I wanted to get another one. So I went a little bit more economical on this one. So this one's handmade um, on Etsy, I think it's made in Israel, and it's just a lot cheaper. Um, it's 14 karat gold on the outside, and this one, you know, doesn't have the chain that will keep it, like, keep the coin on the chain. So it's not as engineered as well, but it's great if you're just looking for a more affordable option to this one. Also this one, um, it's kind of preference whichever one you like better, but this one has more of like a defined Roman coin character on it, whereas this one's very abstract and kind of implies the same thing. So if I'm looking for a necklace to go with my outfit that needs to be a bit longer or more of a statement piece, then I always reach for this one that my friend Rachel made. Um, she has a company called Windblown Jewelry, and it's really cool too because it does not have a clasp like this is one entire seamless chain that this piece just kind of rotates along and so that one's really nice because I can just throw it on it's one less thing that I have to worry about in my day and yeah I think overall it's just beautiful now that I'm showing you a brass piece I just want to briefly describe like how I take care of them with brass you can't get them wet without them getting like green or getting your fingers green if you're wearing rings. So what I do is I'll take a little bit of baking soda and I'll squeeze some lemon juice in there until it kind of foams up. And I'll just take like a microfiber cloth and rub them down real good so that it's you know nice and shiny again and not tarnished in any way. And so yeah, that's just kind of how I take care of my brass jewelry. So last year I got really into chokers and bandanas, <laughs> almost a little bit too much. But this one is one that I've kept and I really like it because it's reversible. So the first way to wear it is in the front like this where you show this cute little tie in the front and then you can just kind of rotate it around and then it's just this really nice minimal choker, this brass choker that's lovely. Um, I will try if I can to find one similar. I just really haven't found anything similar to this lately. So here's another artisan made necklace. This one is from a girl named Ellen. Um, I will give you the link down to one of these necklaces below. This one comes with a quartz stone, but right now I think that she's not making them with quartz. It's like almost a pink stone. Really engineered well where this won't slip off the chain at all, but it's just such a delicate piece that I either can wear on its own if I want a really understated necklace, or I can layer with it, which is really nice too. So she also made this hairpin, which I will link the video that I did a tutorial with with this, but this hairpin is just so minimal. Like it's just these two little shapes that come Come together to make this beautiful hairpin and there's also different sizes so I have like more thick hair sometimes I wear extensions so I really needed the large size but there's also a smaller size if you have like more fine hair or you're buying it with for someone who has more fine hair um, this is just so much fun to wear I just love it. It's very unexpected too because someone who's like viewing your hair in the back will see something that's just beautiful and unique. I just love it. I also like to just wear like vintage jewelry in general. Um, I have some necklaces from my grandma I really like to wear and then I also have some that's like great grandmother territory. So I just like to wear things that are more heirloom pieces. Um, but these earrings are just a vintage find that I have from 1919 vintage and they're just a really like 
classic clip-on or like these are actually screws that you tighten. You know it's a little bit of character on the top like it's got the brass worn down a little bit and you know I don't really shy away from that. I just find that to be beautiful and character that there's like history to what I'm wearing. On a different note I did get some new earrings that got me these awesome um, like everyday diamond earrings and they have gold studs which I really needed because I have like really sensitive ears, especially anytime that I wear something that's pierced, I have to be like super careful on the material that I use. Um, so these ones are from Vray and Oro, and I've been trying to find something from that brand for a while that I really wanted to buy. And so I'm so happy Zach surprised me with these for my birthday, and I actually can sleep in them. Like I wear them all the time and with anything. So it's been really fun to like look in the mirror in the morning and I'm wearing diamond earrings. <laughs> so it's been really nice. And they're also really minimal and small. So they're perfect for like everyday earrings. So nothing too fussy or anything. They're just perfect. So moving on to rings, there's a few that I wear all the time. I first of all wear these ones that are hammered bands from Nisolo. So I have the thick ones and the thin ones, but the thick ones are just so statement, you know? Um, they're beautiful brass ones. Uh, they were handcrafted, I believe, in Kenya, I want to say, but check the website to be sure. I also like to wear them in combination with the thin ones, so I like to just layer and just figure out which fingers I want to wear them on and which day, and it's just such a unique way. I think that rings, having a lot of rings on, gives such character and such a unique look that my outfits otherwise are really missing. I think it's just fun too to wear rings for some reason. I just love it like because you move your hands a lot, or I do at least, <laughs> and it's nice to be able to have jewelry there. I do like to, even though I wear a lot of rings, they're all of the same colors. Like I'll wear brass and gold. Um, the nice thing about gold though is that I don't have to be super careful about getting them wet. Like they won't tarnish or anything like that. So these gold ones are again from Ellen and I just think that they're really fun because they actually kind of have this little peak show here. <laughs> peep show, <laughs> ring peep show, um, that are really nice because it just has a really artistic look, I think. Like, they're flat on the outside right here, and they almost look adjustable. I can't quite, like, adjust them. I probably could really use tools or something if they just didn't fit, but I really like them a lot. And then, when I was wearing, like, all of these rings, I wanted to get a couple that symbolized my wedding ring which is also really cool if that day I'm doing something where I don't want to lose diamonds out of my wedding ring. I can wear a couple that I just got um, from Etsy that are brass again. So I will leave links down to like all of these shops where I get all my rings down below. But that was really cool too. I have such a specific ring size. So the ring that I have as my wedding ring is this one. Um, it's vintage inspired and I just love it for the filigree that's in it. Um, it's just beautiful. It's got like 49 little tiny diamonds all the way across. And of course the one in the center is included in that. So yeah, I just, you know, love it and cherish it. And it's for, it's a white gold actually. It's more of like a soft gold. So, oh, another thing about my wedding ring that um, is very unique to me <laughs> is that because it's like custom made, and it's very like vintage inspired. There really wasn't a ring to go with it, which I've found is more of a modern type of thinking to have two rings, one symbolizing wedding and one symbolizing engagement. So um, in fact, some cultures do like one ring on this hand, one ring on this hand, um, and some people just do one. So I really like the look of just the one ring on its own. Um, and so that's been something that I've just kind of always worn is just the one ring. So yeah, that's pretty much it for rings. I also wanna talk about bracelets next. So if you've watched this channel for a while, you might've seen these ones before. 
I am still just so in love with my Soko bracelets. Um, they're handcrafted, they're hammered, a lot like the Nasolo rings, um, but these ones are super flexible and bendable. And with my child size wrist, I really appreciate that because I can adjust it to where it won't fall off. So I have other bracelets that sometimes have this gap, you know, this opening, but they are not adjustable. So I have a real problem like trying to keep them on. But these ones have stayed on in place. And I also just love that they've got these little diamond shapes in them. That's just so unique. And when I can layer these, they just look so good together. So here's another handcrafted bracelet. Um, this one is more oversized, which I don't mind that at all. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's just a beautiful bangle from Cold Picnic. I got this one from a site called Avenue Boutique. So I will link both Cold Picnic and Avenue Boutique down below. Um, I also think that it's really pretty because it's got this beautiful like braid to it all the way around and you can even see where the person who made it like brought the two pieces together and welded them together. I just love that type of thing. So yeah, um, those are the bracelets that I wear most frequently and the ones that are more artisan and they just jazz up like any outfit too. So don't overlook bracelets. They're really fun. So that pretty much wraps up my everyday jewelry, like minimal collection. I would love to know in the comments if you have like your favorite piece of jewelry that you own or something that has special meaning behind it or something that you wear every day. I'd love to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe. I've been posting um, about three times every week. So I'm hoping to keep up that pace. And it really helps when I hear from you guys more encouragement about that. So yeah, um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.